again this is max um today we're gonna be looking at how to uh bake normal map in blender like you can see this is the one i already did at the end of this story i should be able to do something like this this is what we're gonna be trying to achieve today so you stay till the end of this tutorial you should be able to do something like this so without wasting much time um let's jump into bed and see what we can do So inside Blender, um, I have a plane. So what I'm gonna do is to shift D to duplicate this plane and move it on the X axis. Um, the reason for this duplication is that this one is gonna be um, the low poly mesh and this one is gonna be our high poly mesh. So I'm gonna tap into edit mode as you can see. Um, subdivide it like we can gonna subdivide it. Um, uh, I'm gonna come down here and increase the number of count to 10. I think 10 is the highest you can go. Then under the modifiers tab, I'm gonna add a, a multi-res modifier and subdivide up to the level of four. I think four will be okay by now for now. And then what we're gonna do is to go into sculpt mode and then we'll start sculpting. So in case you come into sculpt mode and see this error message, up there has no uniform scale. Just go back to layout and press Ctrl A and apply scale. And you should be good to go. Then go back to scale, uh, sculpting, and you won't see the message again. Now start sculpting. So the first thing we're gonna do is to um, start sculpting. Uh, you can sculpt anything you want. Let's select this brush, and then we we'll start sculpting. Um, do something like this. As you can see, we have a very high detail bump. So the purpose of this tutorial is try to is to transfer this bomb detail onto our low poly mesh using the method I'm gonna be showing in this tutorial. So I'm gonna draw another one like so. I think it's okay. Um let me make another one. Uh, let's make a dot. I think dot is okay. If you look on this uh, reference image and the one I created before, uh, we're gonna add this detail. So to add that, we come down to this um, this page and click new, then click that dot. And that will take us down to. Then we click open. Then I, we're gonna have to get to a place where I save the uh, I save the map I use. Uh, in case you don't have the map, just uh, drop your image in the uh, your email in the comment section. I'm gonna send it to the email. So I'm gonna use this. And we start sculpting. Right, let's see. Right, this is not what you want. Control Z out of it. I'm um, changing the brush. And I click again. Um, what's going on? And uh, let's increase the strength up to one and click again. Uh, it looks like we have not selected our image. So let's come up here. Under this uh, texture, we're gonna click, I think this is, the, this is the one. So we'll select the image. Now if we click again, we should be able to see it. Yeah, boom. So as you can see is, Tiling up. Uh, that is not what we want. So we'll go to tile and change it from tile to a view play. And then we we'll click again. And I give us something like this. This is good, but this is not actually what we're going for because you look around the edges, you will notice um, it has some gradients and we don't need that gradient. So in order to remove the gradient, all we gotta do is to, uh, let me control the out of it. Uh, come down here from smooth, we change it from smooth to constant. And now we click again. And let me press F to increase the values. Then if you click again, you now notice that the gradient is gone, but it's uh, looking some kind of weird. So it's because we um the we need to increase increase poly count of this geometry. So in order to do that, 
we have to go down to modifier stab and uh, subdivide one more level and uh, like go up to level five. So let me control the atom if we can go up to level five. That's just one more division. And if we click now, we have to get we will get something very very okay. I think this is very nice. As long as the the camera won't get very close to the the mesh, I think the level five division is okay. That's what I use in the reference image I showed you guys in the beginning. So I'm gonna click again to see how it looks. I think this is okay. So we can use this for now. So I'm gonna press F to scale down the radius, then click again. Click again. Then there is no stopping you from going up to level six or level seven, depending on how far your computer can handle. Then if you uh we're gonna add the second image uh, I use in the in the reference image I showed. Once again, if you don't have um if you don't have this image, just drop your email on the comment section. I will send the images to you. So we're gonna use this one to create another another map as you can see. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to transfer this normal map from this high poly mesh to low poly mesh. To do that, we come under the shading tab. We click new to add uh, new texture. When I shift it to duplicate this and bring it out here, shift S to change the node type. We're gonna change it to um, image texture, and then we'll, we cre we create new image. We're gonna create a 4K image. In case shift S is not working on your system, uh, what you're gonna do is to Command uh, uh, image uh, edit and preferences, then go to add on tab and then you enable node granular. Just type in node and you're gonna see it enable node granular. This will enable you to change the node type when you place place a shift S. So what we're gonna do now is to change the node type, uh, create a new image. So we're gonna call it normal. Then we're gonna create a 4K, 4K image. Um, you can go 8K or depends on how how close the camera is gonna be on the on the mesh. If you're gonna be too cool, too close, you can go 8K. But if you're not gonna be too close, I think 4K is okay. And if you're watching this tutorial and you have Blender 3.0, your computer should be able to handle 4K. So for this tutorial, we're going 4K. So I'm gonna enter 1496 for for 4K, then uncheck this alpha and uh, enable that two bit float and click OK. Now we are good. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is to change from EV to cycle because my my render opens on EV by default. And if you have GPU on system, you enable it. Then you come down to bake. By default, it's on combine, so you change it from combine to to normal. Oops, uh, from combine to normal. Then leave all the settings the way they are. All this uh, is selected to active, big for materials to just don't do that. So just leave the settings the way they are. And then finally, you click bake. So um, this might take a while. So uh, I will go off screen and come back when it's done. All right, the baking is done. So as you can see, we have a very nice bomb detail. So I'm gonna blow it so that we can see um, the bomb details. So we now have a very nice looking normal map. So what we have to do next is to transfer this normal map from uh, high poly mesh to low poly mesh. So first thing is to save out this image. So we go to this three dot and we save it out. You can save it anywhere you want. I already done this before, so I'm going to save it to my uh, uh, document. The next thing is to shift uh, to select the low poly mesh and shift select the high poly mesh and press Ctrl L and select blank materials. Now, this is where the magic happens. 
I'm gonna place H to hide the high poly mesh. As you can see, this is a low poly mesh because you can tell by the number of vertices it has. It has only four vertices to show you that it's a, it's a low poly mesh. So I'm gonna drag this um I'm gonna shift it to duplicate this, then shift S to change the node type to normal map. Then I'm gonna connect this to this socket and connect this to this socket. Now if you go into render view, you get this a very high um normal map on our lowest mesh. So for all, all the methods I've tried, this is actually the best way to transfer this normal map from high res to low res. Now here is the form part. Now we are going to add details. As you can see from the reference image, we have some some details on the uh, on the one I made earlier. So we are going to realize this detail on our mesh. So to do that. Let's go back to Brenda. So I'm gonna shift D to duplicate this and shift S to change the node type to bump. Um, I'm gonna shift D to duplicate it again and shift S to change the node type to uh, noise texture. So what I'm gonna do is to increase the scale. Um, I'm gonna increase it so that I have um, maybe something like this. I think this is okay. I'm gonna shift this to duplicate it again and change the node type to um, color ramp and then crush the black value down. So like so. I'm gonna connect the color socket to height and then this normal map, the normal map we create, we're gonna connect the output of this normal map to the normal and then connect this to normal. And if we click, on this we get something like this the reason why it's looking like this is because uh the strength is too high so we have to crush it down to about maybe 0 0.1 is okay now if you look at it now you see we have a very nice looking uh normal with a very nice looking bump details so this is the way you transfer the animal map to a low less mesh then the next thing i'm gonna do is to add color on our mesh so i'm going to duplicate this and change it to uh, color mix node, then change the color maybe to dark yellow, dark red or dark brown, then connect it like this. And then I can drop this onto the second color socket and drag it down. I'll have something cool like this. Maybe you can use this thing for like uh, leather or something like that. This is the best way to create um, texture. Then the next we're gonna do is to add this. Um, these scratches or deaths or something, something I added um, on the one I created earlier. Now I'm gonna show you how I created that. Uh, so the way I created that is that I shift it to duplicate this and shift this. Um, just change the operator to overlay. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in closer so you guys can see. And change it to overlay. Now there is this image I downloaded from Google for a long time ago. This is not my computer for like five to six years. So I'm gonna drag it and drop it on my uh drop it on what we are doing in case you don't, if you don't have it i'm going to just drop your email on the comment section and i will send this texture to you so that you can use it and follow along so this is the image uh, we are going to use so i'm gonna drag, drag it and drop so just connect it like so and immediately we have something like this So this is great. So this is actually the best way to transfer your normal map from high res to low res. The reason why we are transferring from high res to low res is because your high poly mesh has a very high density mesh. And so it's easier to work with a low poly mesh than high poly mesh while keeping the same uh, bomb detail and the same normal map detail. That's just the point. So I think this is, um, we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you want me to make a, another tutorial, just drop it in the comment section and I will say about it in no time. So I'm going to give this a quick render and um, this is how it looks. So 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Once again, my name is Max.